Last week I got a very strongly worded DM in my Instagram account and the reason why I'm making this episode is actually that DM. The person sent me a message asking me Manish you keep saying that law of attraction is so easy but why is it that there are so many millions of people in the world who are trying to manifest wealth but they completely keep failing. This made me think a lot and in today's episode I am going to give you an unfiltered answer on exactly this question but before I even get started I want to make a very strong request. Please don't get offended by what I tell you in this episode. Please don't take anything personally. My only reason and my only purpose of sharing all these points with you is to help you. At the end of this episode for that matter of fact I'm going to share a resource with you which will actually double the impact of the podcast that I am been creating for you. Hello and welcome to episode 4 of Unlock the Abundance, a podcast created for you to understand the whole concept of how to use manifestations, law of attraction and unlock your financial abundance. This is a podcast from the Paycheck to Profit Network. Paycheck to Profit is a community created for millennials and Gen Zs who want to unlock the abundance in their life, manifest a lot of wealth using the right money mindset, get financially literate, unlock their money blocks. Eliminate all your money blocks and learn how to use law of attraction in the right spirit. I'm Manish Ahuja, the founder of Paycheck to Profit and your financial abundance coach and host for the day. A very quick reminder, this entire podcast is available both in audio and video format. So if you're listening to us on your favorite uh, podcast application of your choice, do not forget to subscribe to the Paycheck to Profit YouTube channel where you can watch this episode and all the rest of the episodes of Unlock the Abundance. And if you're watching us on YouTube, do not forget to subscribe to Unlock the Abundance on the favorite podcast application of your choice. The first reason why people tend to fail to manifest wealth and money in their life is because they are operating from a place of greed. If you are somebody who's been wanting to manifest wealth into your life, manifest money into your life only for the sense of getting more money in your bank account, increasing your net worth and you're very selfish about it. You don't care about how you're going to make that money. You don't really care about what kind of value will the market or the customers get from your product or your service. Your only focus is to continue to make sales, earn your commission or earn your revenue and keep increasing your bank balance. If that's your attitude, it is going to be very difficult for you to manifest wealth and get a lot of money in the long run because money is a direct proportion. The money in your bank account, the money in your net worth is a direct proportion to your to the value that you provide to the market. Your customers have to be very happy with what you're providing. They have to be able to use your products and services to change their life in one form or the other. The second reason why people fail to manifest money in their life is the whole emotion of jealousy. If you're operating out of jealousy, your overall attitude towards money, finances, wealth is going to be extremely negative. Earning money in your bank account is a net positive effect in your life. How can something positive come as an outcome of a very negative or a very disturbed emotion like jealousy or envy. What you need to do is if somebody has more money than you, if somebody has more wealth than you, do you don't have to be jealous about them. You have to understand what is it that they are doing right. You have to take them as inspiration. And first of all, it should not matter to you how much money is existing in somebody else's bank account because you have no idea what kind of life they are leading. Maybe they have a lot of money, but they are not happy on multiple areas or multiple aspects of their life. I know many, many, many wealthy people who feel miserable on an emotional level and they would very happily trade all their money for a little better health or better relationships in their life, but to no avail. So please look for the emotion of gratitude in your life. Please work on creating an ecosystem, a value ecosystem wherein the money that you earn is actually bringing a lot of happiness along with the money in your bank account. One of the easiest ways for you to get into the right emotion, to get into the right mindset with regards to money is to join the Profit Clan. Profit Clan is a email community of Paycheck to Profit where you'll get regular emails on the new episodes of the podcast that are released. You'll also get a lot of perspective on how money works. Whenever I release a freebie with regards to money mindset, law of attraction. I first share it with the Profit Clan community. You also get invitations to attend the Profit Masterclass, which is an exclusive two hour masterclass, which I've been doing every week and the response has been tremendous. You get all of this and more for free when you join the Profit Clan. You will get the link to join the Profit Clan in the show notes below. So please 
do not forget to join the profit clan the clan literally feels incomplete without you the third reason why people fail to manifest money and wealth into their life is because of the space of insecurity if you believe that money is scarce if you have a feeling that earning money will improve your self worth because your self worth is at a all time low right now and that will only increase when you have more money in your bank account you need to understand that is a very flawed way of thinking you no amount of money can cure your insecurity money is actually a by product as i mentioned earlier money is a direct by product of the value that you are providing to the ecosystem in which you are operating money is actually an amplifier so many successful actors business owners startup founders if you actually understand their personality you will figure out that despite having all the money and wealth in the world they still feel extremely insecure they are still living a very disturbed life which is exactly why when you watch interviews of many famous people you'll feel and you'll they confess that they are also going through a lot of mental health challenges which clearly tells you that many of them are still dealing with their internal demons irrespective of the amount of money in their bank account 10 years ago versus today money is just an amplifier money does not guarantee confidence enhanced self worth or better mental health it will only amplify your true character the way it is right now so if you want to improve any part of your internal self you really need to start working on yourself rather than ho- hoping literally rather than hoping that when you make more money it is going to lead to a better relationship with money or a better relationship with your own self it will help you improve your self worth that does not happen the fourth reason why people fail to manifest more money into their life is because of the ecosystem in which they are living and operating in look around yourself there is a very strong saying by one of the best personal development coaches in the world he is no more his name is jim rohn he said you are an average of five people you spend your maximum amount of your time with now think about this carefully Pause this podcast just for a moment and try to think about the five people you're spending your maximum amount of time with: your spouse, your parents, your siblings, the kind of uh, your colleagues maybe because you spend a lot of time at your workplace, your best friend, the people in your locality, in your society. These are the people you're spending your maximum amount of time with. Now let me show you the magic: your life, your thought process, the kind of homes that. all these people are living in even if they are your co-workers who are living in different parts of the city or the kind of vacations that these people five people are taking and the kind of money that they have in the bank account you are an average of those five people it's a very good possibility that all six of you have a very 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 similar life now if you are at a you let's say you are at stage 3 and you want to operate at stage 10 or if you want to upgrade your life to stage 10 you cannot operate at the uh, at the stage 10 unless and until you change your ecosystem and connect with people who know what stage 10 feels like who are operating from stage 10 or above now i'm not telling you to break your relationships i'm not telling you to break up with people or disown people in your life but you really need to work towards improving your personality improving your ecosystem connecting with the right set of people and this is going to be an absolute game changer my life changed when i started connecting with other people in the ecosystem which is why when you join the P- paycheck to profit academy one of the biggest perks of the academy is that you are immediately given admission into a community where you can connect with all the students of the academy irrespective of their background the financial background the social background irrespective of where they are because it's this is a online community so you can connect with everybody now connecting with everybody helps you network helps you seek help helps you to understand people's perspective and how they've gotten their breakthroughs this is what i mean by telling you to upgrade your ecosystem when you join the profit clan you will get to know about the paycheck to profit academy and the profit master class which is an absolute must for you to attend but however if you would want me to create more episodes on the concept of how your ecosystem is having a direct impact on your money mindset on your relationship with money or on your bank balance go ahead and comment the word relationships below it's just a single word it'll take you less than 5 seconds but it will give me feedback that i am looking for that more and more people need to need me to create content on how relationships are having a direct impact on your financial mindset if you are listening to this episode on on your podcast platform of your choice 
in the show notes, you'll find a link to go to the YouTube video of this episode. You can click on that link, go to the YouTube video and leave your comment relationships. While you're leaving a comment, please make sure that you can also feel free to ask any questions with regards to the concept of money mindset, law of attraction, uh, financial literacy or any other topic associated with money. You can also please give me your feedback and you can also let give me your suggestions on what kind of episodes would you like me to create in the future episodes of this podcast. The fifth and the most important point, which is actually the real reason. So in the world, in the world of villains with regards to money, this is the super villain and the super villain is called money blocks. Now, what exactly is money blocks? Money blocks are actually thoughts. These are statements which you believe to such a strong extent that it has now become a part of your personality. It has become a part of your belief system and they don't necessarily have to be true for that matter of fact, more often than not, all of these statements are absolutely false. Now, why are you believing in false statements? It's because of your ecosystem. It's again because of your past experiences. It's because of your attitude towards life and money and people unknowingly are dealing with so many money blocks that it is completely de destroying the relationship with money. As the name suggests, money blocks literally block money from entering into your life. Again, in the Paycheck to Profit Academy, there is one program which is dedicated to the whole concept of money blocks. It's called Money Block Eliminator, where I introduce you to 24 money blocks. I help you understand the root cause of any every money block. I help you understand how to eliminate these money blocks. I help you understand the impact of every money block in your life. And that program has literally changed lives of many people. Again, join the Profit Clan if you want access to all of this content and so much more. But from now, let me summarize all the points that I have told you in this episode so that you can at least make a mental note of it. The five actual reasons why you're not being able to generate money or manifest money despite using all the tools of law of attraction is because you're either operating out of greed or jealousy, envy, insecurity, your ecosystem is not allowing you to grow or upgrade to a better level and obviously the fifth and the biggest reason being your money blocks. If you've been listening to this podcast till this point, I suggest you follow Paycheck to Profit on Instagram and YouTube. You will find a lot of new content being released on regular basis on these two channels. You can also you can also uh, take part in polls that I talk about. I also do AMAs. I also answer questions for people in DM. So Instagram and YouTube are the best channels for you to connect with me and get more content from Paycheck to Profit. Unlock the Abundance is a podcast which is all about emotions associated with money and law of attraction. That is the emotional aspect of money. But do you remember I told you I'm going to give you a resource at the end of the podcast which is going to double the impact of this podcast in your life? That, that, that now is the time for me to tell you about the second podcast of Paycheck to Profit. It is called the Paycheck to Profit podcast, which talks about all the practical aspects of money, where I talk about how do you upgrade your money mindset? How do you build a better relationship with money? How do you actually eliminate your money blocks? I talk about the whole concept of money blocks a little more detail in the Paycheck to Profit podcast. So that's again a podcast that I would recommend you to listen to and subscribe to, uh, to find the link of the Paycheck to Profit podcast, I would request you to go to the show notes where you'll find the link to the Paycheck to Profit podcast in the show notes and make sure that you subscribe to that podcast as well. If you have found value in this one episode, imagine me giving you a checklist that can guarantee that you will manifest things faster. The first episode of this podcast, Unlock the Abundance was called five requirements to get manifestations to get really quick results is a phenomenal episode. Many people have consumed that episode and they really like it. I would request you to go to the show notes and find the link to that episode as well. Listen to that episode and you are going to get a lot more perspective on the whole subject of law of attraction, manifestation. What is it that people are doing wrong? What can you change in your life to start manifesting better, faster, quicker? Thank you so much for listening to the entire episode till the end. I really appreciate your commitment towards your personal growth and learning. Do support this episode by liking this episode if you're watching us on YouTube and if you're listening to us on the podcast application of your choice do not forget to take five seconds ten seconds and give us a five star five likes five hearts five mics whatever the user interface of your podcast application allows you to do it takes just a couple of seconds but this one gesture allows this episode to reach out to many 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 more people and I'm always going to be grateful for you to take the time and do this Make sure that you subscribe to Paycheck to Profit on YouTube and also subscribe to Unlock the Abundance 
podcast on the application podcast application of your choice do not forget to sign up for the profit clan you'll find the link to join the profit clan in the show notes and you'll start getting emails getting delivered directly to your inbox and i really really appreciate your company today and i can't wait to connect with you again i'll see you in the next episode i'll see you soon until then please take good care of yourself keep smiling keep going keep growing